Hi, I'm Joy, and today I would like to talk about Uranus conjunct the moon. So this is a placement that can be very intense for people because Uranus is about epiphanies and sudden advancements and this need to not do things the way everybody else does them, this need for freedom and individuality. And the moon is our inner world and our safety needs and it uh, is very strongly tied to our emotions. So when you combine the two together, you have erratic <laughs> moods basically, as well as this need for freedom and individuality and um, like free thinking. And it can be kind of hard on the nervous system because Uranus is so destabilizing and our inner world is, you know, a really big part of who we are and it's how we perceive life around us, it's how we reflect on things. So when it comes to Uranus in conjunct the moon, you're going to have a lot of epiphanies and that can be great for like massive leaps forward in whatever area of the chart you see the conjunction. However, it's also going to be very jarring and it can really short circuit the nervous system. So if you have this placement, it's not such a bad idea to take extra steps to soothe your nervous system. And honestly, I think the way we in Western society live our lives is just really, really bad for the nervous system to begin with. Even like the ads that we see and um, just life, it's so jarring. It's so like in your face and it's so abrupt and it's so loud and it's so chaotic and it's so active. We don't know what it's like to just, well, I mean, we forget what it's like even if we do get to experience it once in a while just uh like wander around outside alone in nature without all of the constant interruptions and you know the apps on our phone giving us all these notifications trying to get our attention and you know the constant uh barrage of assaults on our nervous system that we find in media and the mu in music and um just life in general. So I think it's important for everybody to do things to soothe their nervous systems, but it's especially important if you have this placement um, or even like Mercury conjunct moon too, because Mercury can be a little bit hard on the nervous system too. Um, it's especially important to take time out, to unplug, to have days where you're like not online at all. <laughs> um, to have the notifications on your phone silent so you're, you're not getting that constant barrage of demands for your attention to, um, you know, take hot baths and, you know, soothing, like relaxation where you're just like listening to music and you're wrapped up in a big fuzzy blanket. And um, for me, this is extra important because that moon Uranus conjunction is in Scorpio and anybody with strong Scorpio placements is going to need to focus extra on Taurus and this is the way you would do that as well one of the ways so basically it's a good idea to um, you know do things that just calm you if you have this placement and that can actually <laughs> paradoxically be the thing that leads to another epiphany is just like stopping for a bit and um, another thing that I have found with displacement and I've seen it in a fair number of charts is that often the person's mother who is represented by the moon in the chart is very disciplinarian or authoritarian very strictly religious, especially if it's in the ninth house or Sagittarius. Um, and this need for freedom is very strongly tied to having been controlled or, you know, the mom that like tried to control you when you were a kid. And um, that can be a difficult thing too, because when 
when you're sensitive to being told what to do, to people trying to control you, to attempts to get you to conform. There's a lot of that in life. So you can experience a lot of like frustration and a lot of like feelings of needing to fight um, with this placement because you're so sensitive to any attempts to infringe upon your right to be an individual. And um, well, you know, I, I really don't think that I can understate the importance of uh, with this placement of these epiphanies. Like it's just like how you live your life with these epiphanies. It, you know, you're just like doing your thing and all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, I just had this idea. And um, there can be also a tendency to have kind of an intuition about how to use electronics too in computers because Uranus is very like scientific and very like electric in nature. So having like some um, intuition or just like intuitive wisdom about like how to do stuff with computers can, can be one of the things that happens with this placement. And um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up now. Thank you for watching. I would love to hear your thoughts. You can put them in the comments or, um, yeah, put them in the comments. <laughs> Feel free to uh, like and subscribe if it feels right. Thank you.